Alright guys, so to kick off the video, we will see multiple Metrolink trains in these next few clips. This first clip is 656, uh, leading the train to LA Union Station. I think this was the Empire Line, and 937, I think, was trailing, and it blasts me in the ear, not the actual thing, but there it is. 687. Rogan Capcar was leading this one uh, with F-125. Um, so 9.32, I believe, was trailing on that one. And then we have a Metrolink Deadhead. Uh, not sure where it was headed, though. Um, but it was still pretty cool to see a Deadhead. Um... And then I believe 688 was, or 685 was leading that one. And MP36 PH3C902 was trailing on this one. This was before Metrolink's MP36 and F125 crisis. Um, their locomotives were failing for a little while, um, but it was still pretty cool to see the MP363C. But that's in. But that poor era is in the. But that bad era is in the past. This is the future. And here we go. 902 is leading the Deadhead out of Fullerton. In this clip, we have a BNSF Z train, ZMYC, ZLAC, not NYC, LAC, LAC, NYC. Uh, I'm not sure if this is either near Chicago or if it's New York City. Uh, me and RX Matt, California Rail fan, think of it as New York City, but it's most likely Chicago at this point. Um, we saw an SD70 ACE on this thing as well, and it was going pretty fast, like, it was actually, we actually caught it at a 50.
And just like that, we clocked it at 47 on the radar gun. And in this next clip is Amtrak 770 or 774. Not 100% sure about that, but probably 770. I think, uh, yeah, it was 770 uh, heading to San Diego. So, yeah, coming out of uh, LA Union Station, they were awesome enough to give us a loud shave and haircut. Uh, and this is when Air or J Trains or SoCal Rail Productions sh showed up to uh, Fullerton. And just like that, we have CDTX SC44 Charger 2112 built by Siemens Mobility in Sacramento, California. And here we go. And the symbol for the train is 7712A. the number of the day that the train departed and since it was July 12th and the train departed on July 12th obviously uh, it's 12A air track 12A air track 7712 I apologize for foaming uh, I just got so excited since I, since I hadn't seen a double header in such a long time so I really I sincerely apologize for foaming that was a complete accident. I did not mean to do that at all. But anyways, here in this clip, we have uh, another MP3630C uh, leading a train out of LA Union Station. And they give us a very minor horn show. They took it easy on the horn. It's pretty obvious why, because we were under the pedestrian bridge and it could echo pretty easily and it can cause damage to the gearing, so they took it easy on the board. But other than that, a pretty nice MP36 horn show. It's really nice. And in this clip, we have what I came for, the Southwest Chief, Amtrak Southwest Chief A3 heading to Chicago. The train had a rear, had the second engine facing the rear, which is uncommon with the Chief, and it had a baggage car at the front instead of the back uh, as usual. And at the front, we have Amtrak. 137 leading the train we can tell that it's slightly that it's a slightly newer paint job and 193 was trailing as well in this clip we have a Amtrak a 572 uh, 12a heading to um, something related to spring I don't know I honestly don't know what what this train was i honestly don't know i i don't remember where it was heading but i but six but jeffernus rail fanning was foaming over 6900 and in this clip we have the southwest chief departing with a triple shave and a haircut
when I filmed this, so I had to use my dad's phone. Thank you to him. Thank you to my dad for letting me borrow his phone so that I can film this. Um, it's just I filmed so much earlier that day that I didn't have enough battery to survive. But anyways, Amtrak Southwest Chief A4, I came back later in the day after church and the Southwest Chief 4 had arrived at Fullerton with two Patrick Henry private cars. This was the second time in one day that I had received a haircut from the same train on the same route heading to different destinations. But uh, So the Chiefs, both the trains were heading opposite ways. Southwest Chief 3 was heading to LA. Southwest Chief 4 was coming out of LA. Southwest G4 gave us a small, gave me a smaller shaven haircut. ARRJ Trains, or what is now SoCal Rail, SoCal Rail Productions, I believe, uh, left. Um, however, I was with BNSF train fan of SoCal. And track 40, and track 42s, 40 and 38 were leading the train uh, as it departed. They give, they give us a more like slider shaven haircut and it wasn't three, it was only one, but still worth it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, then please subscribe. However, this is not the end. We still have one more train to get through. Anyways, as the private, as the private cars left the train station, I had a good feeling about this. After the chief departed, I noticed that the signal had turned green, so we weren't done yet. I believe a different rail fanner that I didn't get his channel, but I believe he was Jeffernus Rail Fanning, was still there. Um, if he was Jeffernus Rail Fan, he was still there. But 2112 and 2118, the double header that I had seen earlier the day, earlier that day, were on there again. And as the train departed, they gave um they gave a loud horn show to these completely random guys who were on track three but anyways that's not the important part however it was a super loud horn show that i could hear from my soul it made my chest rattle And I know it's the last minute, but I remember that this was called a push and pull, not a double header. So I apologize for that, but 2118 and 2112 had came back later in the day. Pretty awesome to see them once again. But either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please subscribe. I need all of you to subscribe so that we can make it to 1K by the end of May. So help me out by doing that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.